Yo, what is up guys? My name is Bob aka Pabloon and today we're back with another Bob Place. This has been a good while since we did one of these episodes and since I didn't really get any requests on my last Bob Place, I am again just going to pick the ships that I feel like featuring. And like you can see in the title, today we're going to be playing Elbing. I'm going to start off with that. Then we are going to play the Henry IV or Henri IV and we will end up on the Conqueror here. So, without further ado, I'm going to jump right into the, to the Elbing here. And um, first up, let me, let me change this so I don't... Well, I only have four and... Yeah, it's not fun going into a game without heals. Um, but the Elbing, it got a buff recently. It got a pretty good health increase. Um, so let me see. It's got 27,000 hit points, which ain't half bad. And I mean... I'll gladly take it. I didn't feel like Elving really needed a buff, but if it was to get a buff in any regard, it should probably be the health because it's a big ship. And even though it is a DD, it's more like a cruiser. We all know that. For my build on Elving, I uh, I have the historical camo. Gives these skills. You could also use Iron Cross, but I don't know. I just prefer this um, because the historical camo gives surface detection, whereas the this one does not. It does give more range and what's it called uh, dispersion but to be honest i feel like well this also gives range i feel like dispersion is really not needed on the elbing your guns are very very precise by themselves so uh yeah for my equipment we're running reload and steering gears and detection now you could also swap out this for acceleration i mean in the equipment you can do whatever you want but if if you were to get my recommendation Either steering gears or acceleration. I, I really like having rudder because it means I can turn a little bit better. If a CV is trying to get me, I might have a chance to dodge some of those torps. And surface detection is just because I like being able to escape and getting the drop on people. We're running this guy with Maximilian von Spee. And um, he's a really good commander for the German DDs. He would also fit perfectly on set 52 and set 42. But I have him on Elbing, and these are my skills right here. You can pause if you want. But obviously the nice things is you get Daredevil Plus, Mist Weaver Plus, APCS, and of course you also get the Sixth Sense. So he's a really good DD commander, as you can see. But yeah, let's, uh, let's hop in the game, and let's hope we don't get too many bots, because uh, the last time I did this, it was took me like five hours to complete it, because I just kept getting bot games all the time. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the battle. Okay, so here we are, and we uh, did not get a full bot game. Actually, a pretty pretty decent only bot CVs. Um, we can we can question why we get bot CVs when nobody here is playing them, but yeah, whatever. Um, it seems they have a pretty strong team. I mean, though the only thing I'm scared of is the Marco Polo, but we also have a pretty strong team. We spawn on the right side. Okay, encounter. Hmm. So we do have a lot of smokes. Three in total. We got us. We got two people here to spawn with, but I don't know what they're. They're probably gonna go into the middle of the map. Hello. Hello. <laughs> hello. Hello. So, I might just. Actually, no. We're gonna. We're not gonna go out on the flank because there's no light cruisers for me to really pick at. Except what is that? It's Yoshino. Yoshino is gonna be easy to deal damage to, but. I'm, I'm afraid of the Holland. Um, I do not want to meet the Holland alone. And I can almost see that happening. So yeah, like the BBs are saying, go defend the base. I agree with that sentiment. That's probably the best thing to do. So we got a DD on the wide flank. I hope he's uh, playing for the team and not himself. You never know. Let's see here. Okay, so the CV is coming this way. Um... So we are going to get spotted in just a second. Am I the only one who feels like the, the spotting in of this, you know, the new edition of this ring does not work at all? Okay, here we go. Everybody's aiming at me. Okay, we probably need to smoke up here because we got a Marco Polo. Yeah, he was definitely aiming at us. So I'm going to go for the ship that's the most forward because he's the biggest threat to us. And the Holland's over there, so I could actually just push that way. Wow. 
Well, hindsight's always 2020, right? We, we could have just pushed this flank and wait, never mind, there it is. There was another DD. But I think we got yeah, I think one of our battleships is pushing, so that's good. And I'm hoping it's the Colombo. I got a Schlieff in here too. Oh, let's just scoop behind this Monty. Ah, oh, I'm sorry, Monty. I'm gonna have to reverse. I'm, I'm ruining him ruining his deterrence. Come on, Elbing. Give the Montana space. Alright, I think he's got the space. Let's try to aim for his stern a little bit more here. Whew. That was a very bad shot. Okay. Completely into his belt or something. There we go. Oh, well, of course. And we're massive ships, so we're gonna we're gonna eat damage here. Maybe? No? Just gonna, we're gonna have to escape because we're in Schlieffen's secondary range here, which is not ideal at all. Now we got us a smoke though. Ah, really? You set me on fire? Of course you do that. All right, so he's down. I mean, sure, we could definitely feel that we got more HP, but it's Elbing feels the same, and to all you guys that have the Elbing, you probably haven't noticed anything either. I mean. It's just an HP increase. Okay, so the pushing ships, they, they died. Um, and now we have this Yoshino who's trying to take out a, the bot CV, the most important target on the map. This is definitely the, the play, you know, killing the bot CV who's not doing anything. But I mean, he's full broadside and we can easily take him out. He probably just got the Yoshino. Oh, God damn it! you ruined my shot, Holland. Well, we know there's going to be torps coming from either one. I mean, there, there's going to be a lot of torpedoes coming here in a second. But let me take these guys out. Let me at least help. What's this? We got another Yoshino here, okay. Let's try to see if we can hit this Holland. Oh, yeah. Oh, five hits. Now, Holland is actually a great target for the Elbing uh, at longer ranges. Because... He is somewhat armored, and you can actually get some nice full pins on the Holland um, at, at very long ranges, at least. I wouldn't count on it at close range, but let's see. Well, there he is. Bye-bye. So we had a pretty good team this game, obviously. I mean, these are ELGR. They're a, a, a good fleet, you know. They, they've played this game for a while, especially some of these players. So I was expecting to win, too, but... Hey, can't win them all, but this time I think we might got it. Let, I mean, let's not jinx it though, but it seems like it. Okay, we lost our Schlieffen. So, it, it's actually only a one ship advantage we have. Yeah, ooh, look at this, those full pens. Not bad at all. Oh! Yeah, that Colombo salvo just <laughs> annihilated. Here, yeah, I'm gonna give him a well done. That was pretty, pretty nice. Ah, oh, god damn it. Yeah, this one we can't dodge. Of course. Oh, that, that's a, that's a misclick. Well, whatever. It's fine. There's only one BB left, and to think that he's gonna focus me is. Oh, he is. Oh, fuck! No, 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 no. Go undetected now, please. Thank you. I mean, he's just, he's gonna, he's gonna get reeled. I mean, just look at it. It's a Ruprecht. Oh, there he is. His secondaries are firing. Well, fine with me. He's gonna get behind the island and we're gonna be good, I think. Let's just turn this big boat around. Yeah, we have four assists. We've, we've done what we could, but, uh... I mean, Elbing is a... It winds up. You need you need a good amount of time to get damage. You need to be farming somebody's broadside. And we definitely had the opportunities, but... You know, what the enemy team was doing, the at least the two battle cruisers in the beginning, they were just suiciding. The same with the Yoshino. It's not a very good idea, guys, to play Yoshino full broadside. I know it's in a crate right now, so... If any of you guys want to get it, it's a it's a fun ship, but it's a very very hard ship to play, and it, it's not it's not a good good ship, you know. It's 
I'd say Sao does it better. Um, Yoshino is just a bigger version of Sao. Which, you know, is fun. But it also means you're an easy target. And, yeah, it, it's definitely not an easy ship to play, especially versus big battleships. Oh, come on, let's, let's get this guy. Can we, can we get a Citadel here? Ooh, we got it! 69k damage. Nice. GG, well played to the team. And uh, Stefanovic with the MVP here in the Montana. So, a pretty good start. And uh, actually, also the first game I've played in this this uh, play session here so i'm kind of surprised we didn't get a full bot team we actually ended up second in the team i'm surprised i felt like i did nothing that game but um i guess we did get five assists yeah five assists one kill and uh only 155 shell hits not that's not a lot but hey good game nonetheless so now we're gonna move on to the uh the henry here and um yeah i'll see you guys in a second so i can show you my build so, the Henri IV, the Henry IV, and uh, oh boy, I love this ship. You guys have probably seen it on my channel by a couple times by now. I mean, I did the lighthouse build video not too long ago, but I just, I love playing this ship, and I really think, a, you know, a lot more people should be trying it. It is also a hard ship to play, but let me talk about the build. Of course, we have the historical camo, nothing crazy here. Oh, I forgot the elite bonus on Elbing 2, so... On Henry, I run this elite bonus, actually. That's because I go for the lighthouse build. Now, you don't have to do the lighthouse build, meaning lighthouse meaning you go full in on guns maneuverability and you sacrifice a ton of surface detection. So you would not run concealment build, which I think you should if you're a new player in the Henry here. But I like to go fast and I like to swap flanks and maneuver. And advanced engine helps me with that, but ideally you should probably take elite gun operator. That is probably the safer bet. We got the the camo here, and um, it, this does give some surface detection, but again, that's not what we're going for. And it gives firing range, which is nice. Now, before I go into this, let me just show you guys my Elbing elite bonus. Here it is. Of course, you're gonna gonna go for the the gun operator and not torpedoes. So let's move back to where is it? Henry. For the equipment, now this is where the lighthouse build really comes into fruition. You have to run the legendary mod and you can see it, it gives you pretty nice reload decrease compared to the normal, you know, um, main battery reload. It's it's 5% only. This thing gives 10%. But you sacrifice a lot of concealment. It boosts your concealment up to 12%. Along with that, I run steering gears and speed modification. Now, you could opt in for this and then only, you know, suffer a 2% increase to your surface detection because this is minus 10. But if you want to go full lighthouse, you got to go for propulsion mod or double rudder. Or sorry, this this thing and propulsion mod. It's up to you. But for me, I, I this is the setup I like running. We are running Philippe Abonion. The, uh, let me just remove this can so it doesn't make noise. Philippe Abonion, and uh, well, he's a great commander for this ship. He honestly fits any French tech tree ship. You know, they all have speed boost and um, rapid reload. But in my build, I actually, there's some a few d subtle differences that you need to keep in mind if you're copying mine straight up. These two, fine. I mean, you could also take armament repair expert, but I mean, I would, I would just use a damage control if something is broken, especially my main battery. We got artillery maintenance, six cents, which is really nice. And then I actually take Daredevil Plus. Some people would probably say you should take another rapid reload. That would be a good idea. Or even another heal. But I like having this, especially when I run this lighthouse build, because it makes me maneuver a little bit more. Then we got exploit weakness, um, because I do tend to use HE sometimes in this ship. And, well, it's nice having the extra damage. Fully prepared, adrenaline rush, and then, of course, you got these two. These are amazing skills, the Master Reloader and the Engine Overload. These are buffed with Philippe, and that's what makes him so fun. And then we have APCS and Citadel Strike. So, without further ado, let's hop in a game. Okay, so we got us a CV game, and there's a bunch of battleships here. This this is... Oh, so we got two German battleships in the Slava, and they also have a Puerto Rico, if I don't 
if I don't, if I'm not mistaken. The Puerto Rico is, you know, a foe we can easily fight. We we can definitely fight the Puerto Rico in a one-on-one, -on -one, but he can also absolutely annihilate us with his guns. So we have to be careful. Let me see the team matchup here. Yeah, they got a, okay, wow. They have Slava, they have FDG, Puerto Rico, and GK. That's going to be, and a Manfred from Richthofen. So if, yeah, if he decides to go for us, then it's not going to be a fun time. Now, I don't want to push out immediately and expose my broadside because we know there's going to be battleships right over here. I'm just going to let my Shimakaze pu push up and, well, we'll see what we spot. So we have a midway and I don't know any of these players, um, but I did, I, did, I, did, I do know some of the ones on the other team, especially you, Marco. And I'm detected, so that means that there's a DD here and my DD has not decided to stay. Yep, here he is. I'm gonna use my speed boost here because without a doubt oh yeah here we go yeah they're all they're all shooting at me we have to retreat we uh, we can't stay here the gearing is he's actually providing a pretty big threat to our um to our maneuver here so you can see we can we can reach how many how many knots 45 knots which is quite good, and I don't want to go too far away. But you, okay, they're all coming this way. Not bad. We can, we're gonna swap to HE here, and then we're just gonna sit in this kiting position. We're just gonna wait for the the FDG or GK, whatever that is, to come here. Oh, that's an FDG. Even better. So I'm gonna do my best to set this guy on fire here, and I'm gonna sit with my, you know, ass towards him, my my stern. Make sure that I'm not an easy target, and that we can kite away fast. Alright, we're gonna use our um, rapid reload here to set him on fire. If we can. I mean, that would be awesome, but I doubt we will get it. Because RNG hates me. Come on. Give me a fire. We have one more. Nope. No more salvos. And we get ghost shells. Okay, so that was quite sad. We didn't get the damage we wanted. Now I want to I want to push in actually. Yo, come on. Stop stop doing the the non-fire stuff. Give give me a fire, please. I just wasted one of my rapid reloads. Okay, this guy is he's he's getting lucky. And now at this point I'm I'm just going to say it's not even worth, you know, shooting HE at him. Uh, we should have... Okay, I should have st stuck with the HE here because now we have got this gearing at close range, but... Oh, well. Swap to the HE. Oh, we got some full pins there. That was pretty lucky. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna let this GK eat these torpedoes. Yep. Thanks, bro. Appreciate it. Oh, he's actually not. Oh, what? Okay. So we got a Slava over there. Mm-hmm. Not something I want to deal with, but he's yeah, he's aiming at us. Cause it's Marco and he knows me, so he's he's gonna he's gonna be aiming at me. We're gonna eat some sh wow. He hit my deck and he still did that much damage. We got a GK over here. Um okay, so we're getting focused from both sides here. We have to We have to stay behind this oh, oh my goodness, okay. So I can't go this way, because obviously Slava will destroy me but we are gonna keep focusing on this GK here he's dead. he's just waiting he is just waiting for me to come out so I'm gonna happily waste his time oh we got Puerto Rico now too oh my god I don't know why I'm so interesting I'm behind a rock like what is why don't you shoot at the the DDs guys Oh my goodness. So, GK's dead. We have this guy moving away. So, I'm going to make my move here. GK's dead. We have to we have to make our move. We have to a activate the rapid reload. Get as much damage as we can on the Manfred. And then we just have to hope we can get out in time. We got the Puerto Rico coming, and the Slavas probably gonna be aiming at us. There we go. Nice. Uh, what to choose here? What to choose? We're gonna go for PR. We lost our CV, but they also did. 
It's not looking too bad. Yeah, so Slava's aiming at me. The, the, Marco, you just, you want me dead. Jeez. There's a fucking Montana right here. <laughs> Full broadside, you still aim at me. Okay, there we go. He stopped aiming at me. That's why the sixth cent is so nice. Yeah, there we go. He, he finally found out there's other targets. But now I'm pretty pissed off, so I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back actually and make sure that he regrets this. Because sure, Slava is dangerous, dangerous, dangerous against stuff like a Henry. But the Slava is not very well armored and actually not that hard to take out. He is full HP though. Okay, they got, they, they pretty much killed our, okay, wait, he got the Shimakaze too. Hmm. Oh, this one's difficult because we're going to get detected here in a second. All right, let's... let's Let's annoy him now. Alright, just Puerto, Puerto Rico's dead. So you can see it's a, it's a pretty fine line you have to thread when you're playing... Um, what's it called? Lighthouse build Henry. You really have to be careful of... Well, anything. And we're gonna eat some massive damage here. Yeah, whatever. It's fine. We have to, won't have to cap anything. We pretty much just have to kill Marco here and then we, we win the game. Just, guys, just... Focus this guy. I'm gonna stop and turn out or away. Maybe avoid this salvo. Yep. Oh, he was aiming for. Oh, okay. I thought it was good there. I thought I was playing it really smart, but no. I'm gonna go behind my Montana here, and we're about to win. Cool. So we did 90k. Not bad. I won't complain. Whew. Now you can see, obviously, when you're playing Lighthouse build, everyone can see you all the time. And when there's a Slava on the enemy team, he is, you're the best target. I mean, obviously he wants to shoot at me. So, um, GG, well played to the enemy team. But, um, I think our DDs did pretty good that game. Let me see. Yeah, Harchie Blade did pretty good. And, uh, overall, fun game. So, how many... We didn't, we didn't, we got one fire there, that game. I'm pretty annoyed that we didn't do more damage but normally you would see citadels and you know tons of tons of kills with henry but that's because there weren't any cruisers this game we pretty much yeah we had to deal with a ton of well there was the puerto rico but we had to deal with a ton of battleships and dds so still a fun game nonetheless now we're going to move on to the last ship of this episode guys and remember please come with your requests if you have any i don't only do tier 10 you can also request other tiers <laughs> like i won't i won't take a tier 3 or tier 4 probably but if you have a ship you really want to see i'm you know gladly going to do it but when i choose i'd rather play tier 10 that's my favorite tier so um that's why you only see me do tier 10 most of the time but anyways i'm gonna find the conqueror and we're gonna move on to the setup of that ship okay so the conk chunk the Conqueror. This ship has been through a lot in the in the meta of this game. Wow. It is a a lovely ship, if you ask me. I love playing my Conqueror, and we're quickly going to swap onto these heels here. So, Conqueror is a 420 millimeter battleship. It has 12 guns, as you can see. You guys probably know it. And here is my elite bonus. Don't take torpedo defense system. This is not a tanky battleship and in reality you should never really take this if you ask me. Always go for the, the DPM option. So elite gun operator it is and this camouflage gives us you know some dispersion and that's pretty nice. But as you can see I am also running the legendary mod on this ship. I don't recommend it at all. I bought this because it was golden and shiny and I was like, ooh, Conqueror sucks. Maybe this helps. And then people kind of figured out that you should not buy this and just go for detection instead. Conqueror is is good with detection. You um, you have a more tendency to survive and won't get focused as much. But nonetheless, we, we are running the legendary mod and it, it does give you more maneuverability at the option of losing your rudder survivability by 20%. So you know, it's not a bad legendary mod at all, but it's just you are better off running this or whatever you want to do. Uh, that's up to you. So this is my build. 
The commander we're running is Horatio Nelson, the man who completely bombarded Copenhagen, so he has my respect. Anyone who knows their history knows this is a, a true lad, a true chad of the British Navy. But he's a good commander too, and um, he gives this battle signal that gives you... It's, it's a better version of um, artillery maintenance, I think it's called. So when your ship has more than 60%, you get more traverse speed and torpedo tube traverse speed and also main gun dispersion, minus 5%. Victorious Charge is a good level skill to have, 2.5% recovered when you destroy a ship. Survivalist Plus, and then along with that, I take Fully Prepared so we get a full healing, you know, combo here. You could probably take Fire Supremacy on Conqueror because Conqueror has a Rapid Reload 2. It actually gets 2, so with this you would have 3, which is awesome and probably better for most people. But seeing as Conqueror is a very easy ship to take down, it's not very well armored, I prefer having the extra healing buffs. Of course, you gotta take Exploit Weakness. It's a HE ship in my opinion. People also swear by the AP, but I mean, I'm an HE guy, so I like having Exploit Weakness. We have Adrenaline Rush, Demolition Expert Plus, which is awesome, Mastery Loader, IFHE Plus, and then we have Horizontal Protection Expert. Now, you could also go for this because I actually tend to get tons of Citadels with these HE guns. But yeah, that's about it. Let's hop in a game and see how this goes. Okay, so this game has a little bit more players. Still one bot, but uh, hopefully we can get some good action like the last game. And we got a CV match. Luckily, we have the Malta on our side, the most bullshit CV in the whole game. So, or sorry, the Midway. But the Malta is up there too, man. Um, I'm fine with being against a Manfred. So let's get the guns on the right side here. And let's do kind of like a out, you know, turn out this to the right side and so we can get in full broadside and take the attention of everyone. Because that's how we roll. That's how we do in the Conqueror, the Conk Chonk. Yeah, this ship is getting not a, not a lot of playtime. It's it's actually not, you know, that unenjoyable. It's not, you know, of course, it's not the best BB out there. It definitely is not. But it's it's not that bad. And ever since I've started playing it, I, I've enjoyed myself. I'm sure if you want the best battleship out there, go for Yamato or. I don't know anything about battleships. This is going to be a controversial thing if I say that. GK is one of the best ones, but I actually do think the GK is really good. So if you want a good battleship experience, pl play the GK or the Yamato or I don't know. Montana even. Um, Colombo. Colombo is pretty easy to play too, so it's very easy to get into. But here we go. We got a Schlieffen pushing up. There's nothing better. German battleships versus British HE. That is the dream. So let's sit behind this rock here. <laughs> I think this, yeah, this Schlieffen's, um, <laughs> this Schlieffen's about to have a game, man. I don't, oh, he can't repair that either. He's dead. I'm not going to shoot. He, he's got so many torpedoes coming his way. Yep. And the Sow here. Okay, so the last game I played had a lot of bots. This game, my team is just destroying them. We already killed, you know, the most interesting ships in the first minute. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry, Fire, but I, I can't help you. You... Yeah, I'm sorry, bro. You had to get hit by that. We got a, a Summers coming here. He decided not to. And we actually got a Venom as well. Fast reload activated. <sighs> Fuck me. These guys are... These ca cannons are not turning fast enough. We actually somehow dodged most of those torpedoes. I'm surprised. I guess it's because it's a Summers and a Venom. Don't have the fastest torps in the world. Wait, what is this? What are you doing out here, Seattle? Let me just set fire to this uh, Iowa here. More torpedoes. Come on. Chill, guys. Yep. I'm actually going to turn this way. I want to keep fighting this Iowa here. Because Seattle is just punishing the FDG. Dude, they are just spamming me. Stop it. Get some help. You see, it's not... You haven't been successful. We're going to point our bow towards the Seattle here and 
take some focus away from... Okay, well, he's not lost any HP, so maybe I shouldn't have done this. Thought I was being a nice guy by helping my FDG here. What do we got? What do we got, Seattle? All right, Seattle. Let's, let's fight, then. Let's fight. Let's do this. So, HE is not doing what I wanted to. I have to retreat here. Ow. We have to get back. We we definitely have to get back. Good job, fire. Alright, we're leaving. Leaving the scene. Turning our guns around, and I don't know what this man is doing. He's just sitting still. I'm gonna give him a little, you know, a friendly ping. Maybe he wants to help. <laughs> He's, he's pretty, he's, he is just sitting still. I mean, he's not, he hasn't lost any HP and he's the tankiest battleship on the team. Gonna... Help! Come on, man. What, what, are you AFK or something? No, his gun's returning, so he's here. Right, we, have, we have to get back in the cap now because it's just our Worcester and... Yeah, he finally moved. He finally moved. Good job, Worcester. You are actually carrying this team. Yeah, our cruisers did a good job. I'm sorry for leaving the the match like this. I was I was getting a little greedy with the the Iowa, and I think my FDG has, has finally decided to help. And well, they killed everyone. Ooh, here it is. The coup de gras. He's turning out. So please tell me that salvo hits. Well, I did aim high. I was kind of expecting him to turn a little bit more. Okay, so Seattle is a deadbeat. Yeah, Worcester, man. Well played. Envious. You know I love to see Worcesters doing well. It, that is just a lovely sight. Right, let's get the rapid reload going on this one. Fast reload activated. Somebody which would, would say use AP again, guys. I just like HE, but this this game the HE has not been doing us any justice. I can I, I will admit that. Pretty sad HE damage. All right, I think I'm just gonna upload both of those games for the Conqueror. Honestly, it's uh yeah we didn't do too much in both games, but hey, good job to the the Worcester and the uh, Jinan Fire. You did you guys did good. You kind of saved that game for us. Took care of the DDs. Yeah, he got four kills. Yeah, the, the, pretty much all the stuff was just spread out on these two cruisers. So you can see the power of a cruise good cruiser player when they they can take out all the DDs. You know what? I'll just include this game. Um, the other one was not interesting at all. This one for sure was. But hey. That is The Conqueror and um, this episode of Bob Plays. I hope you guys enjoyed the, the video. Um, yeah, just me playing live. No no editing, no, yeah, no, no cutting, just raw footage. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. My name has been Bobloon, a.k.a. Pabloon, and I am signing out.